today I want um, to introduce to you some grasses or weeds that you can basically feed your rabbit with. The good news is that this uh, grasses has um, various nutritional contents such that if you know how to um, give them to your rabbit then you would not even need to go and buy formula already formulated feed. You can basically formulate your own feed using these grasses. Number one on the list is the favorite of my rabbits, which is the potato leaves. Yes, the rabbits loved the potato leaves so much. Yes, they seem to have some natural instinct that um, directs them towards potato leaves. These rabbits were never fed with leaves before or grasses, not at all. The farmer I bought them from was basically doing the concentrate, the formulated feed, which you can buy from the agro shops. But when I brought them, the very first night, I decided to test them with the potato leaves, and I realized that they love it so much. And for the potato leaves, it's high in fiber, vitamins, and minerals that are very important for the growth of your rabbits. Now, the other one is dandelion, what some of us refer to as dandelion. Okay, I am not having dandelion here currently, but I will look for it and uh, um, talk to you about it in details. The rabbits also love vandalone. When you give it to them, they eat it with so much joy. And it is good because it is um, an anti, it contains an anti-inflammatory agent, uh, which means that it, it, it will help in wound healing and all those things for them. And uh, it is also good for their liver, liver health. And it is also um, it also aids them in digestion and then it improves their respiratory um, health as a whole. So dandelion or dandelion is also a grass that you can feed your rabbits with. Now, the, so this is the potato leaves, right? This is it, yeah, the vine, the potato vine, yes. And then um, the other one is the tridas. I'm looking for it to show you. Yes, so this is how the tridax looks like. Yes, there will be an image on the screen too for you. Um, at another time, I will show you how I use AI. Yes, how I use AI to, to, to locate the grasses and the herbs that I feed the rabbit with to make sure that I have found the right thing. Oftentimes, the Tridas comes with some flower at the top here. Yes, yes. So this is how it looks like. Okay. So the Tridax also is high in fiber, vitamins, minerals, calcium, and potassium, which are also very necessary and needed for the rabbit. Okay. Then let's go to this one. Yeah. The guinea grass. Okay. The guinea grass. Now, the rabbits also love the guinea grass. And for this one, you can either make it a hay or you feed them fresh. Yes, I will. So what I will do is that... Yes, I sir. What I will do is that in the next video, I will show you how to uh, make hay for your rabbits too as well. So please consider subscribing because there is a lot we are going to explore on this channel. Please subscribe because when you subscribe, you have actually encouraging me to do more okay so this is the guinea grass okay currently uh, there is a potato vine with the rabbit so because the rabbits 
this particular rabbit prefers um, the potato vine. It wouldn't even touch the uh, guinea grass. <laughs> that is interesting. Okay, then we also have the pawpaw leaves. Now, the pawpaw leaf is very vital for the rabbit in that it is a natural dewormer for the rabbit. It, when you feed the rabbit with it, it helps uh, in deworming them so that they'll be free from worms. Okay, all right. Then the other um, thing, which um, I have forgotten to bring here, but I will show you also, is um, the Moringa. Yes, the um, Moringa as a whole. Rabbit loves everything about Moringa. The leaves, the bark, the root, whatever. Yes, in, in the next video, we'll consider how to process them, um, how to prepare all these grasses for your rabbit. So the rabbit also loves Moringa and it helps in their uh, total well-being and health. Okay, then we have this. Yeah, this, this. Uh, because I harvested it very young, you may not be able to identify it, but this is actually a maize. Yeah, the maize. I cut it with a stem. At this, if, if you didn't allow it to tassel, it contains a lot of protein, which is also good for the rabbits. Yes, yeah, so um, then we also have the uh, stinging nettle i am not having it here currently but i'll look for it also and show you like i said i'll make videos in details covering each of the grasses that i use here on my farm and so the stingy nettle uh, nettle is also rich in vitamins and minerals then we come to uh, timothy grass which is not also here currently uh, high in fiber and essential nutrients it is also uh, it also contains protein and vitamins so this is also another wonderful um uh, grass or should i say uh, green you can feed your rabbit with this is a i don't know how you pro you pronounce it but it's a now i would say saggy bad saggy bad and as a sage sage bad don't laugh at me. The spelling is actually S A G E D U D. Okay, and uh, this is how it looks like. When when you break it, it it often has some whitish um, fluid coming out of it, and the inside is hollow. Okay, and um, this um, is often common in the farm. Yeah, it's common in the farm by the roadsides and all that. Yeah, so this is it, okay? Uh -huh. um, so these two helps your rabbit a lot. So let's see something. Let's see if this rabbit will respond to it. So I don't know if you can see from that. As you can see, the rabbit is feeding on these two as well. All right. Okay. So here is it. So if you know how to uh, prepare these um, grasses and how to serve them to your rabbits, in fact, you can uh, basically uh, do it organically. And that um, means that you have a zero um, feed cost. But there are other things that you need to take into consideration when you want to feed your rabbit with grasses or herbs or wheat. That is why you should subscribe and await my next video where I will talk about those the precautionary measures and also show you how to prepare the herbs. Thank you and always remember to return and watch the other videos if you give this video a like it will help greatly and if you have not yet subscribed please do so and share the link with your friends my name is john and you can call me fan prefect thank you